Yes, welcome again to another Physics Live here with me, Ben Newsom from Physics Education. And I'm out on location. I'm down in Melbourne with our team down here and uh, having a bit of fun doing some science with some teachers and uh, heading back up to Sydney soon. But it's not about me. It's about some science experiments you get to do in your home. So I hope you've got some milk, some detergent, some food colouring and a plate. And we're going to do the classic experiment called the Milk Rainbow Experiment. So let's go have a look on down over here and just let's get on with it. So down over here, we've got our plate already set up. So just get a plate somewhere and get some full cream milk and pour it on in. Pour it on in, pour it on in, pour it on in, pour it on in. And uh, by the way, if you're playing along at home, say g'day, say where you're from, maybe tag someone who might want to be involved. This will be fun and it does look good. So I hope you've covered your plate with full cream milk. And now I want you to get just a few dots of food coloring. So I'm gonna add some green. Ooh, and I'm gonna add some blue over here. There we go. And I'm gonna add some red. Now you'll notice that the food coloring isn't moving very far because it is mainly water-based. And here I've got full cream milk and water doesn't mix so much with fat, it's immiscible. Oil is immiscible in water and it doesn't go very far. So our food coloring doesn't move that much. So now we're gonna get ourselves some detergent and we're gonna add just a drop of our detergent right into the center of our plate. And away we go. In fact, I'm gonna add a few drops around the place. you'll see that the colors have spread on out. Now initially it spreads on out. It's a bit like the pepper and water experiment that we did a little while ago, where the, co the colors shoot out to the edge, just like the pepper sitting on water shoot out to the edge when you add detergent in the center, because we broke the surface tension of the liquid. There's this idea that the, the liquid's sort of bound together and pulling really tightly, and as soon as you add detergent there, it splits on outwards and sends the colors outwards as well. Now, if you look carefully, so I might just add a little bit more, add a few bubbles around, around. If you look carefully, it's sort of sitting there and it's starting to sort of swirl just a little bit. Being a little blob over here, being a little blob over there, that one's starting to come on up. And this will keep happening as our detergent goes through our milk and breaks up the fat. You see, what's going on with our fat in our milk is that detergent breaks that fat up. Now think about it, imagine that this window that you're seeing me in, this window, was the liquid of our milk, our water in our milk, because actually milk's got a fair bit of water in it. You've got blobs of fat hanging around in that milk. Now as the well, fat gets broken up by the detergent, they literally break apart and water will fill that space. And as it does so, it's going to drag whatever's hanging around with that water, which turns out is the food coloring. So the food coloring keeps moving around to wherever the well, fat's being broken up and it'll keep on doing this until our fat has all broken up. And it's a nice fun experiment that well, you know, works quite well. Now I challenge you, try full cream milk, which we just did. Try skim milk, try soy milk, try all these different 30 versions of different milk that you can buy and see does it work with every single one. And maybe just let us a note in the, in the comments here and let us know how you go. So anyway, that's the nice fun experiment called the Milk Rainbow Experiment. You can find this on our website. If I click on it down over this way, whoa, there it all is. is it goes this, this crazy thing that happens when we've got all this, uh, all, all, all of our uh, view on view on view on view. But here is our Milk Rainbow Experiment. You'll find it on the Physics Ed website. Just use the search button, type in rainbow, you'll find it. Or type in milk and you'll find it. And it'll tell you how to follow along as you go along. Anyway, so back to me, all of that crazy screen again. It's kind of interesting when you see camera and camera and camera and it does a shoot on out, which is kind of interesting. But anyway, you've been listening to me, Ben Newsom at Physics Education, and uh, I hope you have a fantastic afternoon, and I might see you another time. All the best. Take it easy. Mm -hmm.